What's up anime fans, today's video I will talk about an anime I discovered recently and I wanted to share it with you. So the summary of the story is, as part of a mysterious contract agreed upon by a goddess and his parents years ago, Makoto Misumi finds himself sent to another world to meet the goddess and become the hero. However, the deity deems Makoto to be hideous, refusing to even lay eyes upon him and revokes his heroic title, disdainfully giving him the ability to understand all languages except the human language as a compensation. The goddess drives Makoto off to the farthest edges of the wasteland far from human civilization. Due to the disparity between Earth and this new world, Makoto's inherent physical and magical capabilities awaken making him extremely powerful. He meets various demi-humans and mythical beings who all end up being captivated with his characteristics and join Makoto in building a new community where all of them can peacefully coexist. Nevertheless, despite this success, Makoto still yearns to meet fellow humans in a world where the goddess herself has barred him from interaction with his kind. It is up to Makoto and his companions to fulfill his desire and perhaps reform society along the way. But seriously, this anime surprised me a lot. It has likeable characters and a fast-paced story. Also, the comedy is top-notch in my opinion. If you are searching for an anime to watch in the isekai genre, I would definitely recommend you this one, which name is Tsukimichi Moonlight Fantasy. It is so good that I can't wait for season 2. I started this anime not expecting much really, but it became one of my favorite isekai anime out there. I'll give this anime between an 8 or 9 out of 10. So if you didn't watch it yet, I would definitely recommend it to you. From what I can recall, there is pros and cons that I would like to mention as well. The pros of this show for me were I loved the gag, the characters, the pace of the story that was going at. The animation is at least better than most shows I believe, the soundtracks are also good, it's addicting at first especially the first 6 episodes, a really good opening which I like too. For the cons, the only aspect that made me give it an 8 or 9 out of 10 is that the main characters are up, which is fine but for me personally I prefer the main characters to struggle and learn about everything throughout the adventures and hardships it makes it more enjoyable because you discover every aspect of the world. And maybe it needed more interactions between Makoto and the goddess. Well, maybe in the next season there will be a scene like that, hopefully. That's all for today. See you on the next video.